we have children who come at three and until they're seven they are part of the school called Little St Helens and then at seven they move into the junior school until they're 11 and at 11 they move up into the senior school and in the senior school we cover the first five years up to the end of GCSE and then we have a sixth form. When I first came and looked around the school, what impressed me so much was that the girls were achieving, but also they were not putting themselves under unnecessary strain and stress. They seemed to be bouncing around the place, smiling and so enthusiastic about the school, so proud of it. Single sex education is fundamental to St Helens and what it's about. It means that we can educate the girls the way that we think girls learn, but also we can follow the ways in which they mature, which are different from the ways boys mature. At the heart of everything we do is the academic progress of the girls and ensuring that each of them achieves their full academic potential, whatever that is. And that means making sure that we provide them with the right support, with the right opportunities, and that we encourage them to discover things about themselves that they don't yet know about. The girls achieve so well academically because we teach them in small classes, therefore they have to participate in a lesson, they have to contribute to it. I think pastoral care is fundamental to, to a good education. It can be very light touch. A lot of children will go through adolescence even without needing very much attention, but they are just as deserving of that being known, liked, respected and cared for as any child. Other children, of course, will have a very rocky journey through no fault of their own, and it's important, therefore, that we support them so that they get the very best out of the opportunities we can offer them academically. One of the things that I've really built the vision for the school around is that the co-curricular programme is of equal importance to the academic curriculum. I would say success academically is what you need to open the door in future life, but actually the co-curricular programme is what will give you the means of going through the door. It's what will give you the professional skills, the life skills, the qualities, the talents that actually matter when you're an adult. We have the Heath Robinson Inventors Club, which is the most extraordinary and wonderful place where quite young girls create contraptions that can pour tea for 12 people at a time. We're all looking into the green heart of the school. You can see girls enjoying the space, whether that's through sport or Little St Helens out on a nature trail. I can't think there's a better job one could have in the world. Nothing can be more important, as I see it, than, than helping young people become responsible adults. And that's an enormous responsibility, but one that's worth having.